David, we did reach out to the Association of American Railroads, and they say that workers get sick days and paid time off. Uh, but what I want to talk to you about is what does this mean for Americans if you do go on strike? Well, what whoever told you we get six day, our sick days is manipulating the data. We get paid time off that we earned the previous year before. Before the new policy came about, we were allowed to take five days off and two weekend days off a month. Now we could take virtually one day unpaid off a month. And then the only other time we could take off is our paid time that we had to earn the previous year. Yeah, that does seem ridiculous. They would never let airline pilots do that. Um, we're not asking. We're not asking for the world here. We're asking for a few days off a month to spend with our family instead of living on a train. We spend 240 to 260 hours a month sitting on these trains or sitting at the hotel rooms wow. away from our families. That's wow. When I leave my house to go to work, I'm gone for at least two to two and a half to three days. I didn't come realize home, that, David. I, I didn't, and then so, I come home and I'm only allowed to be home for 10 hours. I absolutely love that video. That is a rail worker being interviewed on Newsmax. And and take a look at how that video started and take a look at how it ended. The, the host there started off by saying, uh, oh, to be clear, rail workers get sick leave. And also, forget about that. Let's focus on how is this going to hurt other Americans? Like so trying to frame this potential strike, because this happened uh, more than a day ago, um, as being a bad thing. And then he just gives the, the honest life experience of a rail worker. And when you hear it said out loud, even the Newsmax hosts have to be like, wow, that does sound crazy. How, how can we allow that? I didn't know that, but it sounds crazy. And I think that's a reasonable, honest response when you actually talk to one of these workers. People like that worker are almost never brought on to the news, maybe to avoid moments like this, Nina, but I love to see it because I think it'll open up a lot of people's eyes, a lot of conservatives' eyes in this case. I do too. It was a thing of beauty, John. I'm just going to let that stand on its own, a thing of beauty. Yeah. Uh, you know, it, it makes me think of like when we've had previous periods where there will be a national conversation about potentially raising like the minimum wage. And obviously the vast majority of, uh, you know, news personalities that make hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars are almost universally against it. Or at the very least, they will frame the conversation around how that could hurt employment or how the. But what is almost always lost in these rare moments where as a country we consider stopping on this topic is they don't interview people who make minimum wage. They talk about those people, they talk at those people, but they don't really interview those people. And so well, like, why, why do they have so many, like, well, I was gonna say so many conversations about climate change, they generally don't, but when they do, where they don't bring on climate scientists, like so much of the news pretends that there aren't people whose entire life is about these topics. And I think for the companies that have the resources, that have massive booking departments and so much money and they can they can satellite people in, you could bring in people who are living the experience of the story you're talking about on virtually every topic, but they almost never choose to do that. I guess they need more time with Jeffrey Lord or something. I don't know, Nina. No, it doesn't fit the narrative, John. That's why we don't see it. You know, one of uh, the movies, Few Good Men, <laughs> where one of the characters said, you can't handle the truth. That's really what we're dealing with right now when it comes to mainstream media in particular. They can't handle the truth. And when you have more people on, like that gentleman we just heard from, oh, you're going to get the truth. And that will start to change people's minds because people do uh, open up more when it's somebody that is going through the situation that we are talking about. And it's hard to refute anything that man said about his experience working as a, as a worker on, on, the, on, the, on the rails.